All right, time to play some H3 VR. Nothing new was added, but uh, you know, I just felt like playing around with some of the uh, the guns because uh, yesterday's video was kind of a little, well, I thought it was kind of a little short, especially with the guns. So I'm just gonna check out, uh, do a little recap. I know Anton already did the uh, recap for days 19 to 25, but uh, you know, I wanna do some stuff for the guns as well. Especially some of the things that he mentioned that uh, some guns have. Uh, and yeah, just uh, out here in the uh, Beatman Snow Globe. No enemies to, uh, you know, kind of mess uh, to mess up the uh, experimentation. But uh, all right. So let's get started with the first one from day 19, the uh, G3 SG1, which uh, is right here. And uh, let's see. Let's load it up. And oh, yeah, I forgot that the. Uh, wait, is this the. Uh, let's see. G3A3. Yeah, this is the G3SG1. It has the, uh, the bipod on it. <laughs> but uh, let's see. All right, so this one comes with the gun, obviously. Oh, you know what? I actually want to try something. All right, so uh, let's see. G3A3. This will work on that. Yep. Uh, the H51A whatever. A123. Let's try the K. Put the K on there. Okay, cool. That works as well. Nice. And of course, you've got the little hole there so you can use your iron sights. Works there. Let's see. All right. What else other uh, carbine? Oh, let's try this. Mm. Yeah, that works as well. If you wanted to scope on your uh, MP5. Well, that's the carbine. Hold on just a second. Let's try SMG here. So uh, let's get the uh, MP5, the 10 millimeter one. Oh, yeah, you can. Nice. You want to scope on your MP5? You got to scope on your MP5. <laughs> All right, let's see what else was there. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's go with the uh, MP5. Okay, let's see if this one uh, fits on there. Yeah, you wanted a scope on your MP5K? <laughs> it clips a little under the front sight there, but uh, you can have a scope on your MP5K if you wanted to. All right, and uh, Anton mentioned uh, something about a uh, Picatinny adapter. Let me just go to the... Uh... There it is, I see. So this is the G3 Picatinny adapter, which should work with uh, the, of course, the the uh, G3 SG1, as well as the other G3 type weapons. So there's your uh, regular standard G3. And then you can have a Picatinny. And uh, your uh, H51, right? So you can put that on there as well. So now you can put uh, red dots instead of using the uh, MP5 Picatinny adapter, which I think also worked with the G3 platform weapons. Yep. But uh, yeah, we have a bespoke G3 adapter now for these types of weapons, if you wanted. But that's the one I wanted to check out. Can I grab this? Oh. Oh, there we go. Nope. There we go. So the whole, let's see, uh, Heckler and Co. family get some special love this meat miss. But uh, where's that scope? I need that scope. Let's actually fire some some rounds here. Oh, wait. Hold on. I just want to see. Can we? <laughs> we can put it backwards. That's a bad idea, though. But uh, you can if you wanted to. 
All right, let's uh, let's spawn some ammo. We got the drum mag as well. That works, which is pretty cool. I need a spot to put this. Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn on my um, spectator cam, didn't I? Oh, no, that, that would be a bad idea. Because I'm using a scope right now, so. I wonder if this will clip through. No, I don't think so. Oh, you know what? I am going to... HK slap. <laughs> All right. Pretty cool. But that's the uh, G3 SG1. Which, uh, pretty cool. Just wanted to check again the uh, attachments. And, uh, let's see, what else can we do with this thing? We can stick a suppressor. Wait, didn't it say the AIM-5 suppressor was the one that it used? Hold on. Oh, yes, it did. Okay. Grab this. This on there. There we go. So there you go. And if you uh, don't want to use that scope, you can. Let's do it this way. Stick this on there. And let's put a uh, red dot on here. Let's do... Um, hmm... Oh, am I out? Stick a magazine in there. HK slap that bad boy in. Oh, my tracking. Uh, okay. I don't know what's going on there. Hello? Huh, that's weird. My tracking just freaked out there for a minute. It's like this, right? Might have been blocking something. Yeah, I really need to mount my trackers a little higher. Because uh, I think it's because I'm blocking. Like this hand is being blocked by the one behind. My head, sorry. And this one is blocking this. Uh, whatever, it's, it's complicated. Oh, we're out. One more mag, and then we can move on. All right, that's pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to see what the uh, P, uh, the uh, G3 Picatinny was, and that's pretty cool. All right. Let me just, uh, let's see if I can clear these things. Oh, you know what? Put this there so it goes away. Oh. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Oh. That was my wall. I need to actually move to the center of my play space here. There we go. Oh, completely forgot about those. Don't worry about it. All right, what's next on the list here? Oh, you know what? Somebody uh, reminded me. There was a gun that I missed during one of the roundups. It was the... Where was it? Was it a submachine gun? It was a submachine gun, right? Uh, It was the... No, wait... 
It was a, uh, there it is, the American 90. All right, yes. Completely forgot about this. Oops, spawn two. Whoa. Are these, uh, actually, wait, hold on. I want to spawn the American 180 magazine. Oh, yeah, the magazines are complete different sizes. Huh. American 90s magazine is a lot smaller. Does the American 180s magazine fit? Oh, it does. <laughs> all right, all right. Before we do anything with that, let's just put that out here. So this is the American 90. As you can see, it's a uh, cut down version of the American 180 with a smaller magazine. And uh, yeah, the vacuum is running, so the dogs are barking. That's great. <laughs> uh, all right. So basically, yeah, it's a cut down version of the 180 and uh, has a nice little uh, retractable stock, I think, taken from the Mac Mac 10. I really forgot which one it was. Oh, there's a rail up top, too. And uh, yeah, let's charge this bad boy and see how it uh, works. Oh, you know, I keep forgetting. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. You see spectator. Okay. Let's disable that view. Okay. Oh man. Kinda of hard putting the magazines in. I don't exactly know. Hold on just a second. Firearm. No. Put that away. Yeah, see, my controllers are touching now. It's kind of hard to do. Now, if you had two of these, what would that be like? American 90. Oh, is this empty? Yeah, this is empty. All right, let's uh, see if we can stick this back on. Like that, I guess, huh? Let's chamber that. Let's get the other one out. Yeah, so you have to do it like this. Not like this. Like this. All right. I got two of them. All right. These two added up. American 90s makes American 180. So you just combine them together. They fuse and <laughs> turned into the uh, American 180. Okay. Whoop. And actually, I want to try something out. Let's uh, hide the controller geo. Does the American 90s magazine fit on the American 180? Since it can do the other way around, I think it can. Oh, wait, hold on. Like that, there we go. Oh, look at that tiny, cute little magazine it has on. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, wait, hold on. It was uh, like that. Okay. So basically, you grab it like that. One more time. Like that. All right. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's just that tiny magazine on it. And like I said, like I demonstrated earlier, conversely, you can take the 180 mag and put it on the uh, 90. And uh, we can put a uh, put a uh, little red dot on here, or if you wanted to uh, make it a little more absurd, let's put a scope on this thing. I don't know how you would reload it, but uh... <laughs> oh yeah, that's beautiful. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to find out where that snowflake is. 
There we go. We did it. Hopefully that didn't clip into... Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know why. That seems to be working properly. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta scratch my nose. Okay. But there you go. Oh, you know what? We need a muzzle device. Let's get the uh, let's get the biggest uh, suppressor we can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that is uh, that's pretty crazy. But yeah, yeah. There you go. American ninety. Like I said, I forgot about it when uh, when I did the recap. But, uh, all right, let's just drop all those, make sure we clear the area, because I don't want the game to slow down. Okay. All right, so we are moving to day 20, the RPK, which uh, I kind of showed off extensively when I played the mode, Winter Wasteland. But, uh, this would be support, machine gun, there's the RPD, there's the RPK. RPK magazine, drum magazine. Cool, cool. Oop, that doesn't fit. And uh, hold on just a second. It's like a stray hair, you know, and caught in my, uh, caught in the foam of my uh, headset. <laughs> All right. Let's see, what did I want to do? Let's try. Let's try adding some of these AK-4s. Now, this one works, but what if we put the dong on there? Can we stick the dong on there? Yes, we can. Now we got the AK dong on the, uh, the uh, RPK. But what about the shark? Shark, I think, will work. Very sharp dong. A sharp dong, but uh, I'll put the dong on here. There we go. Just wanted to see if that, uh, if the other, the uh, fours work, and they do, obviously, since. Uh... But your RPK, pretty cool. Uh, let's go with the uh, drum mag. And uh, yeah, it's your RPK. We, oh, no, oh. I was going to do a uh, AK reload, but uh, we'll just do well on this mag here. You know what? All right, where are you guys at? There we go. And we got any more? One, two, and I'm still missing one more. Oh. Where'd you go, buddy? I spawned three of you. Huh. I don't know what happened to him. Hmm. That's strange. All right, well, you know, we'll see him later. <laughs> Got the uh, RPK. Just wanted to see if the uh, dong worked. was that? Excuse me? Got him. All right. That's cool. RPK. 
Oh, wait, hold on. Just want to try something else, too. Let's see. Uh, AKM. Oh, it does work. Okay, magazine. Got the tactical. Let's try the tactical. Eh, if you wanted a shorter mag for that, I don't know why you would. You got the tactical mag as well. There we go. Okay, that works. Oh, oh no. Oh yes. I completely forgot. It's got the dovetail on it, so you can stick a red dot on this thing. And uh, if you're not really into Russian sights, then you can do the... Uh, where is the... Where are you? Russian to Picatinny. There we go. So that's another little thing that you can you can use. Let's grab ourselves uh, one of these. And uh, yeah, you know what? Don't want to blasphemies with that, <laughs> blasphemize that <laughs> with the uh, American style stuff. Keep it Russian, you know. Yeah, we don't need that. We need this. Drum mag. So if you're not really into iron sights, uh, you can add uh, different uh, types of scopes. Let's see, reflex sight, uh, the PK divs. This will work as well. Get under. There we go. Red dot for you. What else? Uh, let's see. Cobra, it's fine. Then we've got some. Let's see, where are you? You're in here somewhere. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, so. Want a little long range? If you want? You do that. And I think that's uh, about all the uh, things that can fit fit there. Of course, you can add more with the uh, Russian to pick a tenny, but uh, you know that's up to you. And uh, yeah, there you go, the RPK. Ah, I managed to get it. Cool. All right. So, after that, that was, uh, let's see, 20, 21. So, we're going to do 21, which is the, uh, let's see, where is that support ordinance? 21 is the RG6 horse. Oops. Let's get rid of that. And uh, let's see what we can what can we do with the RG6. Okay, let me go to the ammo panel here. Spawn ourselves. Uh, let's see, smoke, sound, and flash training. Back jump. Ooh. Smoke. Smoke grenade. Sound and flash. Training. Okay, let's see. Uh, go. Go smoke. Uh, sound and flash. High explosive. High explosive jump. And training. I guess we'll do two smokes. There we go. That should be smoke. Yep. Oop, that's sound and flash. High explosive. Explosive jump. That's training. Yeah, that's training. And we got a lot one more, which is smoke. There we go. Cool. Oh, you know what? Let's see if we can uh, add a rail adapter to this thing 
Let's do a uh, real barrel extender. Can we? No, I don't think so. But we can. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh. Yeah, that's just a... You can't help that because this thing moves. But, I mean, if you wanted a scope on this thing, definitely could. And I think Anton said he's going to fix some of this stuff later, so... That shouldn't be a problem, but yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's make this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but let's make this a suppressed grenade launcher. Oh, wait, hold on. Can it not work? Hold on. I don't think it'll work. Oh, you can't do it. Okay. Well, just the, uh, just the, uh, barrel extenders, I guess. My barrel extenders. Can we use compensators? Oh, we can. There we go. What cuts compensator right there? <laughs> oh yeah, still has that behavior, but eh, it's okay. Let's do all smoke. Oops, all smoke. Oh man, I can't wait for my computer to <laughs> slow down. Because of all the smoke. More smoke. More smoke. We need more smoke. There we go. I think that's enough smoke. But uh, yeah, that's the RG, RG, RG6. I am not again in my center of my play space. <laughs> oh, hey, you notice that the, uh, the barrels all have numbers on them. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't think you can add any other attachments to them uh, unless you use the uh, barrel, railed barrel extender. But uh, yeah, actually, oh, huh. that's weird. Wait a minute. I put one in there and uh, yeah, it just disappeared. Yeah, see, so if, you, if you put one in, and then you try to take it out, it just disappears. Hmm, alright, well, that's pretty interesting. Let's move on, so that was 21. Now we're gonna do the 22nd gun of Meatmus. It should be in the anti-material. XM500. Nothing that special about this. Oh, goodness. All these grenades. Get out of here. Hey, you know, it's a 50 BMG. Bullpup. Anti-material rifle. Uh, yeah. Nothing too crazy about it. Yeah, that will, uh destroy our eardrums right there. Thankfully, this is a video game. Oh, well, I don't turn my volume up that high because uh, it's bad for you. So you can put a scope on here. Uh, I just want to see. Yeah. Hey, we can. Gets rid of the muzzle brake and uh, that is a big suppressor. I think we're charged. Wait, we are. So, you know, if it's a little too loud for you guys, you can put a suppressor on. Oh, you know what? I need a uh, red dot. Let's go with the... Oh, no, wait, hold on. We'll go with the combo scope. There we go. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. 
Move this a little bit farther. I look at a gigantic suppressor on it. Oh, let me use a red dot here. Oh, I missed. Oh, missed. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is pretty good. My dainty little ears. <laughs> I had to put a suppressor on my 50 BMG. Oh, man. That's great. But there you go. Not Again, nothing too uh, crazy with the uh, XM500. But it's still pretty cool. Especially it's a bullpup 50 BMG. Although I know some other people are wanting uh, another uh, anti-material rifle. But uh, maybe maybe in the future. So let's just put that away. Whoa. All right. That was day 22, right? 23rd day was the stoner, which I used extensively because it is pretty good, especially since, uh, since I'm left-handed. So this thing is like, I, don't, I guess it was custom made for left-handed people because the box goes in that way. So this is the, this is probably the uh, LMG that I'll use. But uh, yeah, it's a stoner. You can flip up the rear. I think I showed that off before. And the carry handle. Whoop, my, gun, my, my tracking. You know what? Let's, let me, let me do tracers. Is it gonna do it? Tracer, tracer. There we go. All right. And tracer, tracer, tracer. All right. Let's uh, let's get a little crazy. Random, random, random. All right. I'm probably gonna die, but. Let's spawn as many bots as we physically can. Oh no, the game slowing down. <laughs> oh no, what did I do? <laughs> what am I doing? Was a bad idea but i mean yeah you know just wanted to uh do a little crazy thing there but uh i don't think you can do much more with the stoner unless you want to let's say add a muzzle attachment because there doesn't seem to be any any uh, rails or anything 
This was, I think, before the advent of Picatinny Rails. Although, maybe that might have been Rails back then. I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, so only muzzle devices. Let's go with the... Uh, since this was made by Nart, uh, Knight's, not Nart, Knight's Armament, let's go with a QC9 suppressor. There go. And let's stick this. And I want to hear that. I want to hear how this sounds. Suppressed. Pretty cool. But there you go, this Stoner 63 LMG. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, like I said, you could put uh, probably the uh, railed muzzle attachment on there. So you can have scopes and stuff, but uh, that's just that. All right, moving on. We are going to the last of our Meatmas uh, Winter Wasteland gifts. The NTW20. It should be in the anti-material. Oh, it's so large. And, uh... Let's see. What did I want to do with this one? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's got a rail up here, and... You know, when I first saw this, I thought... This rail is a little too small for, like, actual Picatinny attachments. But I think it might just be that the gun is too large. That's why it looks so tiny. So I'm going to try something here. Let's actually get a uh, reflex sight. Let's see if this works. Oh, I think it does. Yeah. You can put attachments on this thing. If you wanted to. Of course, the uh, little chainsaw grip there kind of blocks certain things. But yeah, you can stick a red dot on there. Let's try putting a laser... Tactical laser, where are you? There you are. Oops, you're backwards. There we go. Now we have a laser. And oh, oh yeah, this is uh, pretty interesting that I missed this, but Anton uh, found some, uh, Anton put some scope settings. And I thought it was over here, but it's, uh, I think it's over here, right? So now you can change your magnification, which is pretty cool. Minute of angle, zero, etc. But yeah, so the controls are over here, not over here, over here. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, also, I wanted to see the other. What you call it? The other ammo for it. Which, uh, again, still work in progress, but uh, this one is high explosive, 20 millimeter HE, which is the one we have right now. And also, we have one that is, I think this is, what is this? It's either a training round or a regular full metal jacket. I think Anton said it was a training round, but uh, let's uh, start with this one first. This one is not explosive, so. Let's spawn ourselves a bot. Where are you? I don't know where he is. Maybe I should have spawned more. Not, <laughs> I'm not going to spawn like 800 of them, but, uh, let's see, where are you at? Get up on the ledge, come on. Huh, I don't, you know what, let's just shoot at the uh, target over there. Let's actually bipod this thing first. Oh, it's a little too zoomed in. Oh, 
tracking. What's going on? Yeah, it's not explosive, but uh, it works. And I still don't know what happened. Oh, there you are. I see ya. Got him. Nope. All right, that's cool. That's a little, uh, again, that's the, uh, the blue training round kind of thing, which is still powerful enough to uh, really mess you up. Okay, well, let's go switch over to the explosive HE, high explosive rounds. And, oh, actually, you know what? I want to try one thing. Let's put a suppressor on this thing. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with the longest one. Okay, I'm going to have to stretch to get this. Oh, I don't think it'll work. No. All right, well, that's fine. I don't need a suppressor on this. Use the uh, red dot here. Ooh, I'm shooting a little high, huh? There we go. Look at those pieces fly. <laughs> they are... <laughs> This is, I think, I want to zero this up to maybe 50 meters. There we go. Cool. Oh. And we're empty. I just wanted to see if, uh, primarily I just wanted to see if this rail was uh, actually usable, and it is. I thought it was, again, I thought it was really small, but it's really small compared to how massive this gun is. So <laughs> that's why I was like, I don't think rail objects will work on that attachments, right? But no, it pretty much works. It's just, uh, it's just this thing is so massively huge. Wow. Seriously though, this is a huge gun. <laughs> All right. So that was the NTW-20. All right. Where are we at here? And you know what? We might as well check out the new guns as well. I didn't have that much time uh, messing around with them. This is the uh, Detective Special. 38. Oh, someone asked if you could put it in a uh, magazine slot. I don't think you can put it in these ones. Which, uh, yeah, it's a little, uh, doesn't work. Hold on just a second. Let me go to the options panel here. Quick belt options. Let's try tactile centered. No. Small pockets? I can't even see. Okay, works in there. Concealed carry. Which, there's one in the back here. Hmm. Tactical? Yeah, it works on those ones. But the uh, new tactical centered. I use new tactical test, by the way. It uh, doesn't seem to fit in the magazine slots, so. Eh, just worth a try to see if it works. Oh, man, hold on. Pains of being left handed. I want to see what uh, kind of attachments we can put on this thing. I don't think we could. Uh, we can put a suppressor, but maybe a barrel extender. Will that work? Okay, it's a little. All right, hold on. Yep. Oh, yep. Okay. And then we can stick a rail adapter. And then we can put a, let's see, we can put a magnifier on here. And there we go. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, let's shoot ourselves a snowflake. Ah, we got it. Ah, we got it. That's, <laughs> yeah. So barrel extenders work on it. No suppressors, though, since it's a revolver. Okay, what else? Auto 9. I don't think you can do much with it. But it's still a pretty cool gun, nonetheless. It's actually a four-round burst. It's not three rounds, it's four. So that's unique. I don't know if you can catch how many rounds that was, but Anton said it was four rounds, so. Uh, what about muzzle devices? Rail adapters? Let's try uh, extender here. Okay, that seems to work. What about suppressors? Can we put a suppressor on this thing? What does it sound like with a suppressor? That's what I want to know. So let's try uh, something a little boxy here. Mmm, Chowungus. Here we go. Oh, it does work with a suppressor. I wouldn't think so because of the, um, the ported uh, compensator, you know, ports in the front there, but... Oh, forgot to... Uh... Ah, alright. It actually looks really good with a uh, Chowungus suppressor. You know what? Let's uh, stick this bad boy on there. Stick the uh, yeah. Doesn't follow the flow quite well, but uh, it works. Let's do M93R stock, and then let's put a let's put a grip on this thing. Let's do, uh, let's see, what do I want? Shift, let's put the shift on here. Oh, you know what this needs? Let's do a magnifier. Hmm, which one should I use? So many choices. Uh, oh, the flamenco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm not, no, I'm not even hitting it. This, we can increase the magnification. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Got it. <laughs> there you go. The Auto 9. <laughs> Somebody could probably do a better job at uh, at uh, making this look better, but that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what's next. Stoner sixty-three AR, right? Basically, the uh, assault rifle configuration. Oh, charging handles right there. <laughs> Dust cover can be closed. 
which is pretty cool. Now you want to keep your gun clean, right? Uh, let's go full auto for this one. Yeah, not much to say about this one. Except that it's pretty good. See if we can. Uh, oh yeah, there's no uh, no rail attachment points for this, huh? Hmm. Well, we could do a rail adapter, but let's just go with a uh, suppressor. Just record it here. This probably sounds like the uh, the LMG version. But, uh, yeah, not much to say about this one. It's really good, though. I might use this. Oh, that's really nice. Let's close that dust cover. Keep your gun clean. <laughs> okay, oh, let's see. Well, we uh, I mean, I did use the, uh, the law. With the M72. <laughs> Funny enough, it took me a while to uh, find the safety for this thing. Like I said, I thought it was this, but it's actually this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what? I should spawn lock this. Oh, and you know what? There is a rail uh, in the front there. I think Anton kind of demonstrated it on his live stream, if you didn't see it. But uh, he kind of asked like, why they would put a rail on this thing <laughs> if it was disposable. But yeah, whatever, you know. If you really wanted to, you could put a red dot sight on this thing. Oh, so beautiful. You know what? Let's stick a scope. Oh, wait, let's get rid of that. Let's stick a scope on this. Let's get the, uh, get a good one here. There we go. Stick it on here. Hopefully I don't push the trigger. So that would be pretty bad. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do some long range rocketry here. Oh, I missed. You gotta take the scope off. Okay. The cap. Pull the tube out. Safety. Let's go with something a little... There we go. Beautiful. All right, that's, that's enough of that meme stuff. Put a scope on a, on a law. If you really wanted to, you could. I mean, you just have to remove it when you're done with it, but... Uh... Oh, man, I missed. Okay. There we go. Oh. I just want to keep using this thing. This is... Oh, man. That snowflake just like Matrix dodged my rocket. There we go. And of course, I think you can fire it one-handed, but it's, you know, the, um... Hold on just a second. The controller geometry for this is like this. 
which is supposed to make it easier to get out, but... Oh, that was one-handed. Oh, okay, let's see. It's right over there, right? You just gotta... There we go. I guess you can hip you can hip fire it like. Hey, you know what? Oh, well, I thought the back blast would do something. But I mean, I guess it might work. Uh, hold on, just a second. Does the back blast actually work? I think it does work, but not on just like static objects. Target, play pot. I want to sell the clay pot here. That's actually uh Okay. Hmm. Okay. No, that's all right, though. That'd be funny if you, like, pushed the, uh... Pushed, like, items around the back blast. Back blast clear! Oh, well, I, that was me hitting the wall there. But I don't think the back blast actually does. We'll try it again. Hold on. Oh, let me switch hands here. Okay. All right. That end is that way. This is the rear. Hmm. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> I just got to be careful because this thing is live. <laughs> if I press the trigger in any way, we're going to be rocket jumping. No, it doesn't really work like that. Oh, I died. Well, I just had to try, you know. But yeah, I don't think the back blast uh, does anything. So one more time. Let's uh, from far away here. Oh, wait. That, oh, wait, no, maybe. Did I hit the... I think I hit the wall. Let me try that again one more time. This time, let's have uh, let's have it clear. And uh, stop spinning, please. There we go. All right. Let's try this again. This time, not hitting the wall. Maybe uh, farther away? Will that work? Hmm, no. Alright, well, that's okay, though. Still a fun weapon to use. Oh, it's really accurate once you get it down, you know? This work. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, you know what? This is completely dumb. But I don't think this is gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. <laughs> it would have been really interesting if it did, though. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm gonna fire this two two hands. I'm gonna use both hands for this. Oh no, that one. Yeah, this one. Got it. Got all those launchers. All right, so that was the uh, M72. One more for good measure. I just love using this thing. Oh, no. Okay, I can't let that stand. I actually got to hit this thing. It's like right there. There we go. And uh, the last one for today, the Brown Bess, which uh, can't seem to grab. Oh, there we go. Get out of here. All right. This one, not that hard to uh, 
load. Again, Anton showed off that trick. I usually just grab it like this, since I'm tall enough. See, I didn't have to move my hand all the way. <laughs> yeah, so Anton said, basically, you grip the uh, foregrip, move your hand, release this hand. Now you're ready to do this. But I don't have to do that because I'm tall enough, I guess. I think I'm tall enough. I don't, I don't know if the game resizes you, but I feel like doing this is a lot easier for me. Oops, I just put that at an angle like that. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no. I'm, how am I gonna tamp this bullet down? Oh no! I didn't want to do that. Put that there. Oop. Okay. Oh, I need to turn off this controller. Yes. All right. I need to. Oops. That. There we go. Okay. Hey, there we go. We did it. Oh, I didn't spawn lock the. Uh... Well, you know what? That's actually a good thing because someone asked, can you blow up the brown bess? Can you? Can you blow it up? And uh, if I remember correctly, the answer is yes. Let's grab ourselves a meat horn. Okay. Oh. Let's just grab this. So let's just fill this thing to the brim. This will probably take a long time. In fact, I don't probably need to do the whole thing, the whole tube, but I'm going to because... Okay. We're just going to do this. I wonder how far we are. We're probably like... Probably like, uh... Eh, we're not that much. Hold on. Alright, let's put this back. Hmm... Can I at least grab the bullet? Thank you. You spawn lock this thing. Hmm, okay. You know what? I need to get rid of this. <laughs> Okay. Let's add a couple more. Okay. Let's add a couple more. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I want to max this thing out, dude. We're going to take this to the limit. You know what I mean? We're going to go all the way. That'll be a nice ending of this video. 
Okay. All right, we'll just add a couple more of these. I'm sorry if this is uh, kind of boring. Just gonna keep adding more until we can't add any more. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going here. Wait. You know what? I think that's enough. And we'll just leave the uh, the rod in there. All right, let's, uh, let's add a lot of uh, powder to this thing. Go. Close that. And we're ready to go. I need a target. Give me a target. In the spirit of holiday, we're going to get ourselves a peppermint. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, let's, let's go a little bit farther. All right, here we go. Yep, it exploded. Oh, what was that? Wait, hold on. Oh no, that's a bug. Seems like the uh, gun is sort of still there, invisibly. Hold on just a second. No, probably not. No, I think it... Hmm. Maybe uh, the collision with the world. Yeah, so there's like an invisible force here. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I think my computer did not like that. <laughs> Something about the physics kind of just made it... Uh, just a jet engine on me there. But uh, there's the brown bess. You can destroy it. And hmm. okay, <laughs> just wanted to just wanted to see what would happen if you uh, loaded it too much, and of course it uh, blows up just like the uh, flint lock. <laughs> little powder horn all right well i think that about does it for me today uh hopefully i didn't miss anything else but maybe i did I'm trying to think I'm trying to remember if uh whatever happened in the youtube comments that i saw i think i got everything i think i got everything but yep, that's about it for today. And uh, yeah, happy Christmas, happy holidays. And uh, all right, so I guess what am I gonna do after this? Well, I'm gonna take a long break because I am tired. <laughs> 25 days of uh, video making, especially a VR game. That's, you know, I'm, I'm probably still gonna play some cyberpunk, but uh, for VR, oh man. Just setting everything up every day and uh, <laughs> playing all the new updates every day. It's just, uh, that's exhausting. Still fun, but exhausting. So uh, I don't know if uh, I'll probably do any more H3 VR for the rest of this month. Maybe, uh, maybe next year. I really, uh, actually one reason why I think I'm going to uh, take a break for now is because I got to get the uh, mods situation uh, fixed up because a lot of new stuff came out and uh, all of my old stuff is outdated so <laughs> I gotta re-download all the new mod stuff 
And I think I'm probably going to do a clean install of uh, the mods for Ace VR, so. Yeah, that's probably going to be the plan. But uh, for now, I'm just going to relax, play a little cyberpunk. That's easier because it's me just sitting down in a chair, pulling up a microphone. That's it. <laughs> you know, it's like no setup, no moving things around, no turning on uh, lighthouses, uh, you know, plugging them in or whatever. So, yeah, that's about it for today. And uh, I will see you guys next time.